The members of the Nigerian Labour Congress in Anambra State are currently at the state capital in Oka protesting the economic hardship in the country. The protest was led by its chairman, Humphrey Nwafo. Nwafo called on the federal government to review workers' salaries to a minimum of 1.2 million naira and insisting that it is one of the solutions that can save workers out of the current situation in the country. The protesters were seen gathered at the Ayoma roundabout in Oka and marched towards the government house gate in the state capital. And NLC members today in time joined the nationwide two-day protest over the dwindling economic situation in the country. The NLC alongside among the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, Nigerian Union of Teachers, the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, amongst others, joined in the protest. Our correspondent, Stephen Enoch, has more in this report. In Kano State, the Nigeria Labour Congress and its affiliate unions converged at Riscos at 9 a.m. for the protest. Amid a sizable number of security operatives, the protesters began by groaning to the federal government in regards to the current economic hardship in the country. Today, the living wage, which is 30,000 30, naira, cannot even buy a bag of rice. Today, a bag of indomie, a packet of indomie, is 18,000 naira in our own country. Where are we today? Where is the living wage? Uh, what we are demanding is for at least Nigerians to have succor, for Nigerians to have relief so that they will uh, have a decent living. The Nigerian students, also members, are all Nigerians. So the hardship that are faced in the country are equally faced by us and also our students. The protesters subsequently marched to the Kano State Government House chanting solidarity songs in company of the police and other security operatives. Upon their arrival, the chairman of the Kano State Council of the Nigeria Labour Congress expressed the yearning of the people and presented a letter to the government. The Nigerians are hungry. We should tell you that Nigerians are suffering. From May 29th, Your Excellency, 2023, we have seen a black storm. This room that farmlands are secured so that farmers can return to the land. We propose an immediate removal of the collection of levies, fees, deals, and tolls from the tea traders across the nation by local and state governments. An immediate deployment of large number of CNG conversion kits to all sets of the federation to grant the students easier access to the conversion of their vehicles from PMAs to CNG. Composition of a team of relevant stakeholders to monitor and supervise the, the all federal government's intervention funds in the interest of Nigerian people. The same arrangement is advocated at all levels to ensure that government interventions with the poor and the vulnerable. Reversal of suspension of further increase in school fees in the nation. The Kano State Head of Civil Service received the letter and assured its delivery to the presidents. We have received a letter. We have heard the content of the letter. And the government will issue a deliver the letter to the president for actions on issues raised in the letter. The message of the protesters to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is that enough is enough. According to them, they cannot continue in this economic hardship. They want to see a change in the economic situation of this country. Stephen Enoch, Plus TV News, Ghana. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.